So people have the stereotype of Coolidge as they're students who don't do anything, they don't go anywhere, um, it's a drug infested school, students are constantly getting pregnant, there's not much here. It's, and then when you have everyday Coolidge showing that no, that's not the case, we actually have students who love learning and who love classes and who love to do school things, then it changes that perspective. Our DCPS Arts program sent out an email for a um, PD, professional development, at the Pulitzer Center, and it was going to be on our day off. Not only were we learning about how they um, suggest curriculum, they had us implement it. So that day we had to go out and take these pictures the same way our students would have, interview people, strangers, the tips that they gave us, and even we curated a mock um, gallery. Once we did that, I was able to feel confident to bring it to my school. Coming back to school and Miss Savoy tells me, hey, I saw something called Everyday Africa. I want to do Everyday Coolidge. And she presented the idea to me and I was like, yo, we have to do this. So to change the perspective that people have of Coolidge, to explain what it actually is, is amazing. Photography has just been a serious part of my life. Taking pictures is like, it's freedom for me to just go and just tell a story through a picture without actually telling a story. After I saw the Everyday Africa Professional Development, I started the next day. And I started to take some pictures so the principal could see an idea of where I'm trying to go with it, with the captions that we learned, the who, what, where, when, sometimes why, and incorporating the journalism with it. And also to get that buy-in that this is what it looks like. <laughs> so, yep. Good job. Everyday Coolidge. Mm -hmm. It's not what you think it is. Really enjoy yourself here. I'm proud of you. Very good.